Last week we talked about what kind of business or, or the industry that uh, your business will be started in. All right, so we have the photography industry and the fashion industry, right? Cold and line. All right, so your task is, you know, to come up with a name, slogan, all that kind of stuff. But here to help us, again, we have Mr. Christopher Cavanaugh. And so I ask that y'all kind of pay attention and give him your undivided attention as he talks to us a little bit about himself. That's what we Thank you, Thank you. So what's going on, everybody? My name is Chris Cavanaugh. I am a celebrity fashion photographer based in the Charleston, South Carolina area. But I grew up in a small town called Walter Bell, South Carolina. <laughs> Have you guys ever heard of it? Next to college, yes. Yep. About 45 minutes away from here. And when I first started my business as a photographer, I was 16 years old. How many, how old are you guys? Kind of, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. Kind of close to that? So see, you're close to that. It's never too late or too early to start. So when um, I was growing up, I was always the person with the camera in grade school, middle school, I, so I kind of started to like get into photography, going to school, taking pictures of my friends with a little point and shoot camera. And then uh, I had friends, you know, like you, you said you wanted to be a model. And all of my friends who were saying that they wanted to be models and you know, have pictures, I would go around and I would take pictures of them. And then it kind of grew and developed into my love of photography. So as I was growing up through middle school and high school, I continued to do what I was doing. And then I would start to uh, have friends who were models as I like, you know, grew up in high school. So I would take my equipment to high school, my camera and my flash, and I would start to develop a portfolio with uh, you know, people who were models and wanted to build a portfolio. So as I started to get older and uh, got to be my junior, senior year, I started to be like, hey, I have a portfolio full of models. What's the next step? So I was like, hey, let me go to a modeling agency so that I can start building my portfolio with real models. And after I started to uh, go to the real modeling agencies, then they started to supply me. And I started to like, actually book my uh, jobs with actual uh, magazines around the area in Charleston. And then I began to book you know, magazines outside of the area in different states and things like that. And then that started to uh, you know, get me out there and, like start to be seen by people who had, you know, like you can see some of the, these uh, photos who had like a bigger platform to, you know, start paying me for my work so I could start to grow a business. And then after I started to grow the business, I started to be like, hey, now that I have models in my portfolio, and real models in the portfolio, what's next? So, like Ms. Keisha was saying, uh, I took that leap to start going out. How many of you guys have Instagram? How many of you guys know that Instagram is the biggest form of marketing to reach out to people all around the world? So I was like, hey, I have a portfolio. Let me go and start messaging creative directors. You guys know what creative directors are? Nope. People, the directors who basically do all the farming. Yep. Creative ideas. And creative workers and stuff like that. Absolutely. So what I was like, I was like, hey, I have this portfolio, let me reach out to creative directors um, around the area. So I started to reach out to this creative director that I saw on uh, Braxton Family Values. His name was Terrell Mullen, and he lived in Los Angeles, uh, California. And also, he was a makeup artist, so I messaged him just out of like a whim, a leap of faith, but I was just sending emails and you know DMs to a whole bunch of people in the industry. And I was like, hey, if I keep throwing you know things at the wall, one has to stick, you know? So just so happened that one day um, I was just, you know, throwing all of these, you know, things and all these messages to these people. And I was like, man, nobody has really seen it. Nobody is really responding back. But I was like, I still have to keep doing it because eventually somebody's going to reply. So one day I was just kind of down. I was like, man, I'm putting in all this hard work and nothing's coming back from it. And then my Instagram DM went off. And who do you think that person was? You know, not his her ex-husband, her stylist, the makeup artist. And he was like, hey, I would love to work with you. Whenever you're in Los Angeles, let me know. So now I'm uh, kind of at this age where I'm fresh out of high school, and I'm just like, man, how am I going to afford to go to Los Angeles, California, in Hollywood, and then also like stay there for a week, have an airplane trip there for a week? And I was just guessing and just wondering all these things, but I knew if I keep, you know, uh, thinking, going like how I can and trying to make these things happen, 
it was achievable. So never like give up on your, you know, your dreams, all the things you want. So it just so happened within that was a six month span of all of this stuff happening, wondering how it was going to happen. He messaged me. He was like, "Hey, Chris, I have a project that came up with Tina Campbell from Mary Mary. You guys know that group, the gospel singing group." And he was like, "Hey, I have an opportunity that you can shoot her album cover." And um, then also we can, you know, photograph some models here to build your portfolio. So I flew to Los Angeles, and then after that, I uh, shot her album cover. And then within that week, another opportunity came up that I got to photograph Eva Marcel, you know, from Real Housewives of Atlanta. Yep, she was there too that same week. And then that kind of helped my portfolio to open it up to bigger clients, celebrity clients, uh, bigger magazines and publications. Uh, networks and things like that, like BET. You guys know what BET is? I work with them as well. And um, then kind of, you know, kept going, going, and going, and, you know, start founding it. But, yeah. So, um, how many guys are interested in starting a photography business? You? All right. Yeah. Or you can model and uh, be a photographer. I have friends who are models and photographers. And then you guys said you wanted to be fashion designers. So you guys know that you're going to be like working with each other back and forth, right? So uh, the good thing about like programs like this is that, you know, you guys are like, as you start to grow in the industry and no matter where it takes you, you'll be like, hey, this person becomes the biggest fashion designer. She also knows one of the best photographers that you guys might be. And then somewhere down the line, it's like, hey, I have this opportunity and this brand that I want to start and I can start working with, what's your name? Gio. Gio. And then I, Gio, you can start working with, what's your name? Nevea, and then that's how things get started. So then you guys start working together, and then by you know forming a business relationship and building things. Do you guys have any questions? Anything? Don't be shy. What's going on? Where are you based in now? I'm based in Charleston, South Carolina. Yep. So a lot of the work I do is around Charleston, and then I'll you know fly out somewhere if I need to. How about you guys? Well, yeah, how, where are you from? California. Okay, oh. word. So see, you have a connection to California where it already takes off at. How about you guys? What kind of fashion uh, designing do you want to do? Mm -hmm. Modern day. Modern day? That's what's up. Person. Who's one of your favorite designers? Can't pick. Can't pick. It's a lot of them, right? <laughs> how about uh, you guys? What is your, what do you, would you like to photograph? You got your fashion, you got your commercial, your wedding photography, your family uh, photography, the events. Nature. 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 Nature is a good thing too. Uh, you know that like even with Apple. You don't write that, write that so notes. Yeah. <coughs> you know every year when Apple um, releases a new iPhone or releases new software, you see those photos that they have in the phones? They have to hire a nature photographer, somebody who's good for that. And those people get paid really good money, you know? They get to travel. And get to travel. <laughs> all around the world. Just to take a picture. Yep. And it's already doing something that you already love, but what it starts off with is just the idea to want to become a, you know, a nature photographer or an event photographer or, you know, a modern day uh, fashion designer that, you know, starts to spin these things up. Some of the biggest designers like Gucci, Louis Vuitton, Tom Ford, all these people start from an idea, a concept. And, you know, just in these little spaces using what they had to uh, get themselves where they want to be. Even with, you know, me as a photographer, or, you know, some of the photographers you see in these huge magazines. I remember when I was around, what, 15, I did my first event. And I was so upset because I didn't have a camera like this. And I was like, man, I want the top of the line camera. I can't do this uh, event because I don't have it. And my mom was like, boy, if you don't use what you have to get where you want to be. So she gave me her little uh, point and shoot camera. I started to do all the like little church events and stuff like that. Just taking pictures, taking pictures. And then it eventually helped me to buy, you know, a really good camera. So you don't have to, uh, like Ms. Keisha was saying with Nike, you don't have to have all this money to start, you know, your business, your fashion designing business or your photography business. It all starts with creativity. It all starts with reaching out to people. Never be afraid to reach out to somebody, no matter how big you might think they are, or how small you, they may think you are. I mean, they might be. Everybody has like a destination. Everybody has a path. 
and you never know where that person's path could be, and that person can meet back up with you to create something bigger, you know? All right. So did you have Ms. Keisha? I have a question. Uh, can you explain what a portfolio is? Yeah, a portfolio. A portfolio with me specifically, I'm a fashion photographer and celebrity photographer. So a portfolio is a series of images uh, where you'll go and like, being that I'm a fashion photographer, I'll take a bunch of pictures of models and then I'll start to put it together like this right here of like different photo shoots of people um, to when I want to have a job or something like that. I'll go and I'll just show them a series of photos that I've shot of my work. So it's a display of your art. Yeah. What was that? Yeah, I shot him, um, what was that? I shot him last year with the BET Network and then uh, being that I worked with him and he liked, you know, my work ethic and he liked, you know, my photo quality, he called me again when he was coming back to New York and he was like, hey, I'm going to come to New York, um, I will need some photos taken. So me and one of my friends, we flew out to New York and then I photographed him again. Yeah, he's a real cool guy. And you guys have any other questions? I have a question. What's going on? So like, for instance, if we're going to start early and say we're starting at their age. Mm -hmm. I know this equipment can be very expensive. Right. What are some things that they can just start with, like, like if they want to get like a little nice little umbrella thing, what's something they can do use to <laughs> <laughs> All right. How many of you guys have cell phones? You already saw it. With the cell phone, these things right here have the same to almost close camera quality as your beginner level phones. Um, I have one of my best friends, he's a teacher in Dubai, in the Middle East, and one of his uh, students was like, hey, she wants to become a photographer, but she don't know how to start. So she started to use this little device right here, her iPhone, to go around and start taking pictures, and now she's actually, you know, you know buying a, photo a camera to actually go into, start getting into photography. So you can always use what you have in your pocket to be your best camera. And then if, once you start doing with like lights like this, it's uh, different, like lighting like this goes from cheap lighting to like, you know, like entry level lighting to you can go one for $30 to all the way up in the thousands. As you start to grow, you'll be able to afford that. But it's lights like this, like I had this light ever since I started at about almost 17, 16, about 17 years old. I purchased this light in high school and I've had it ever since. So, yeah, you can, you know, find websites and stuff like that that'll help you, you know, um, be able to purchase like like that or something that's a little bit more affordable or expensive. What's going on, Ms. Keisha? How much education do you need to become a photographer? It depends.